Hi again, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend. It's Monday morning, August the 29th, 2022. Looking at a uh, chart from Friday moving into this morning. Uh, I just wanted to show some of the intraday timing points and a couple of the price levels that come off of the squaring the circle uh, information that I worked out last week. Uh, I hadn't checked this on intraday timing till this morning, and it looks pretty good. I've got, uh, there's such a drastic move Friday uh, with uh, the Fed announcement and the big down move. I have the price scale crunched together. You can see I'm here at 4250 at the top, down to 3800 at the bottom of the screen. So this is wound kind of tight together, but the horizontal lines are some of these key squaring the circle. Uh, timing points that are applied to intraday and I've marked out four price levels on the chart uh, Looking at the price levels first you can see that we couldn't get up above that level there We traded down bounced off that one See the first two time points first was a low second was a high both solid trades even these little uh, What look like little blips are pretty good moves 4192 uh, 4202 area 12 points up and then we get a nice move down at the second time point and catch support at the price level next time point we come off a low we're trading up we start a little sideways we hit the time point and then we reverse back down we breach the price level which then becomes overhead resistance you could see that line was not broken again as the downtrend continues then we get into the next time point in, in the afternoon. We're trading up, and then we get a uh, short trigger right into that that takes uh, takes you right out through the afternoon. Late trigger comes 15.25. That trigger is six points up. It doesn't look like much there, but it's a six-point move. I'm going to expand the price scale here now. So every one of these, we do get a turn, and then here we get the uh, late in the day uh, short opportunity that, that goes about nine points uh, right into the uh, very quickly just a four or five minute move nine nine plus points let's uh, move into the early morning and see what we got as we continue into the overnight chart from last night uh, right here we get a minor high we're in a congestion area but you can see we do trade up into that time and we do trade down and continue down from there this one here is right in the middle of a flat not really much activity there this one here we missed a couple minutes then the last two were uh, very actionable we hit the short right here at this time point and it traded right down into our next time point where it reversed so these are uh, very high reliability uh, points this squaring the circle this was uh, George Bayer's one of his methods from the uh, George Wolston the grain trader book so that's the uh, application to the day trade chart just want to throw that out there it's possible that this may become uh, uh, a course or a video series or another book we'll probably look at putting some of this stuff out we've got the Plato uh, work we've got the hidden phi stuff and we have uh, squaring the circle this is all each of these can be standalone methods or work together but they all give really good price and time points